And stepping through the doors of the Grand Council Chamber behind you, you will see Sylvana. Boot in hand. Out of her hips. And Vrax immediately kneels. I bow. <laughs> we are graced. Take a swig of my beer. <laughs> Can we just end the session right there? Uh, welcome along to Odessa. Um, this is chapter three, episode three, possibly. Um, four. Could be. Oh, it's episode four. Four. Could be. It's in the yeah. title. Yeah, episode yep. four. So marvelous. Twist and turn. Uh, okay. Today I have playing with me Matt. Hello, I'm Matt. I am playing Rook, who is an orc barbarian. I have Alora. Hi, I'm Alora. I'm playing Kenna. She's a fire genasi Drake warden ranger. I have Cal. Hi, I'm Cal. I'm playing Olari Slade, a priest of main cleric and water genasi. I have Kira. Hello, I'm Kira, and I'll be playing Lucius Claudius Festorius, a Elegian monk destined to fall into darkness. I have Josh. I am Josh. I will also be playing Lucius Claudius Festorius. <laughs> 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 I am Josh. I will be playing Maverick, who is a necromantic sorcerer. And I have Jamal. Hey guys, Jamal here. I will not be playing Maverick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing Leovold, uh, unstable wild magic sorcerer. I will be playing Maverick. <laughs> and I will be playing everyone. Else. Someone will be. <laughs> um, Maverick will be getting played. So. Um, most of you had retired to your bedrooms. However, um, oh, Kenna, um, noticed that Iona had been abducted. Um, what are you doing in this moment? Uh, Kenna? Okay, the second she disappears, I am going to bolt for the door. And I'm going to run down the hallway and just start knocking on each door of our rooms mm. all the way to the end. Fantastic. Maverick, do you hear that? Kenna, is that you? Get out here! Mm. I'll just storm out my door. What the fuck's going on? Yeah. It's Brax. He took Iona. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Is this something I would joke about? No. Um, Son of a bitch. I'll uh, move to Kenna's room and I'll uh, just look to look around and investigate, possibly. Same. Uh, give me a perception check. Um, whoever said same, sorry, I didn't catch it, um, but I know someone said same. Uh, please give me an investigation check. 18. 18. Okay. And the investigation check? Uh, crit. Nice. Um, yeah, both of you find nothing. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, with your perception check, um, you notice that nothing is disturbed. Um, it's like they came and went in the middle of the room. Um, however, with your investigation check, uh, you do discover that something else is missing. Um, it, she was um, barefoot when she was taken. But they stopped to pick up her boots. Um, I'm gonna walk over to Kenna. What exactly happened? He was walking, and she opened the door, and then he, he just showed up, grabbed her, and they disappeared. I, I, it doesn't make sense. Why would Brax have orders to take her when she was just sworn into the silent? Would it be well, another training thing? I highly doubt that. Um, either way, even though she's part of this house now, Drax is working under the assumption that he's being getting his orders from Grandfather. And uh, he's not? Can I give me a perception check, please? 26. As you look to the window, 
You'll see it's sliding open. Uh, I'm gonna ready my bow. A character cloaked in black. All you can see is some purple eyes. It begins to enter into the room. You see a shimmering field of magic around him. And you hear a voice in your mind. I would put that down if I was you. I need a name and an explanation. My name right is now. Frax. Are you being impersonated, or is this some kind of sick joke? I believe that somebody who is playing at being me in some way has recently come and taken one of your companions. Yeah. I've been tailing him for three months. You've trying to undo some gross. of the work that he is doing. Hang, hang, hang on one second. Playing at being you. How is like that me. even possible? He looks like me, and he has my power. Well, playing at being me, unfortunately, is quite easy, because I walk around with a cloak on, I'm over my head, in full black, with my eyes shaded. No, 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 no. So, but playing at you... Is unusual. Playing at you is one thing. However, even the grandfather thinks it's you. Yes. You see where I'm getting... It's not adding up. I have had orders from multiple people that are often contradictory. For three months, I haven't acted. Only tailed the person acting in my stead. That time in the inn, that wasn't you? The inn in Drathnor Keep, the, the jeweler? Yes. The jeweler? Yes. No. It was before I was on his tail. It was the first time I heard that I had killed and I wasn't present. Son of a bitch. Well, How do we know you're not lying? That. How would you like me to prove it? Too sure. Perhaps finding your companion would be a good start. That would definitely be the best start. Okay, uh, where exactly was she standing? There. He steps over to the space. Hmm. He didn't come in here, did he? About... He moves sort of a foot to the left and puts his hand in the air. About here. He didn't take any steps. How can you tell? It leaves a path. It's the magic of the mind. Sionicism. I only know of three others that can perform it to the same level as me that are not illithids. And none of them can be this person. Can I... Oh. Can I insight check? Yep. On this whole conversation we've had. Okay. 19. You get two things from this. The first is that he appears to be telling the truth. The second is that if he was lying, you wouldn't know. Um, I will say that you're aware that his magic stretches to more than just appearing and disappearing out of nowhere. So how do we get her back? Might be able to scry on her. Do I leave anything behind? There's a necklace. And a chest. It has her essence, but... I can follow at least this portal. And I can take you with me. But if that's anything like before, he'll use a series of them. And by the time we get to the last one, he'll be dead. Then how do we beat him to his destination? Well, your friend says scrying. If you have the ability to do so. I'm gonna run uh, over, already picking open up the chest. The... Yeah, inside the chest you see a small silver necklace. Um, she's usually wearing this. But why she took it off is... Lucius, make an inside check. Mm. 
It's well, a nine. Mm -mm. I don't think anybody else would know or understand. You get the idea that it might have something to do with the meeting with Reyes. Mm. Probably. My passive is higher than that, so it's 13. Yeah, that's uh, uh, that was the adjustment of telling you from nothing that it might have something <laughs> to do with Reyes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at your passive percept passive inside. Um, regardless, we should follow this portal quickly. Um, you, he looks at Brother Alari, you are capable of scrying for this person? Be a first for me, but I can. Okay. Hold the fucking phone. Why does my cleric have scrying? Uh, because you gave us an orb of scr um, tr scrying with true sight. Ah, the orb. Okay. That's gonna be, uh, yeah. Um... A crystal ball of true seeing. You've got it? I'm not sure it's you that's gonna be able to use it. How did you get it? Uh, I asked, we all got it, and I asked the group. Right, okay. Um, I believe somewhere there it says requires a tomb by a clerical, by a sorcerer or wizard. Uh, just as requires a tombment. Ah, okay, yes, it will require a tombment by a sorcerer or a wizard. Ah. Okay. Um, so it's it's lovely of you to try. You can provide the water bowl, um, but one of those two will need to attempt it. <laughs> I, um, I, I guess Shit. I'll attempt it. That would make more sense. Is it another scrying pen? Um, no, it's crystal ball of true sea. Um, then I will take said orb okay. and um, try and scry for the first time. <laughs> okay, um, first of all, you're going to need to make an arcana check. See if you can even work out what you're trying to do with this. Probably not. Oh shit, I'm going to my page. Um, actually, I'll take an Arcana check from Naval as well, please. Yeah, sure, I'll give this a go as well. No, you're gonna do something uh, different. Oh, okay. Well, that's, uh, that's, a, that's a 19. Okay. Um, yeah, you can definitely work Thank fuck for that. Uh, what was your Arcana check? Seven. Right, okay, um, that's gonna make your life difficult, but you're gonna attempt it anyway. Um, it, Maverick, um, give me a performance check. Uh, that's a 13. Okay, um, what you see is the sky. Um, the night sky. Uh, you see stars. Um, Leobald, uh, your arcana check was diabolical, but you're gonna have to give this an attempt anyway. Um, right. If you want this to work at all, um, give me a performance check, please. Oh my god, that's diabolical, that's a night. It's a DC 18, so <laughs> you ain't getting nowhere with that. Um, Nibbled, you can see what Maverick sees, but neither one of you is particularly great at reading the stars. Um, I'll take a nature check, but you need to get a natural 19 or above, both of you. I'm gonna go ahead and give them, um, both my, uh, uh, my channel divinity and also just cast bless. Okay, uh, That's what do I add to that right? then for It's a d8 and a d4, I think? Okay, Nibbled, you can't fail. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Um... At that yeah, point, yeah. Uh, you... Oh, I'm at 20. Perfect. Okay, between the two of you, neither one of you knows where these stars are in relevance to the world, but what you are able to do is depict them perfectly on a piece of parchment. Um, at which point you will need to hand them to Kenna. Um, okay, then I will grab a nearby piece of parchment. Yep. Yeah. I'm just going to assume that there's one in the room. There are. Yeah. Right. Here you go, Maverick. In room anyway. And with Aquila. Uh, I've got an idea for this. Um, mm -hmm. Why don't we just um, create an illusion of uh, a uh, perfect hey, image of... You can of, do uh, that in the middle uh, of the room. Be yeah, I'll just create an I'll conjure an illusion. Which, what uh, you could have done if you hadn't have flopped your checks like a boss um, is actually broadcast this to the room like you did Maverick's Memories of the Fallen. Oh, um, right, okay. You flopped it. So, um, yeah, um, at that point, can I give me a nature check, please, or a survival check, whichever you prefer? Uh, uh, 20. Dirty 20. Uh, yeah, I need to know which survival. one. For survival. Survival. Right, okay. Um, you are able to work out which way they're moving, and you know that they are far to the east. Um, depicting exactly where this is is not possible for you. You haven't been there. Um, but you know it's it's far to the east. 
Um, They're east and moving east? And moving east, uh, rapidly, and then the image jumps, Maverick. And at this point, you see, um, you're, you feel like you're tilted forwards. So as you were looking at the sky, you're like tilted forwards action-wise. action, action wise. Um, And you see very briefly the entrance to what looks to be an inn before something is pulled over your eyes. Oh, okay, I was just going to say, do I see what the name of the owner? I no. Um, do I see anything, any dis- distinguishing features of the town I'm in? No, but what you do is you hear. Okay, what um, do I hear? And what you can hear is, first of all, you can hear yourself speaking, um, saying, let me go, let me get out of here, what the fuck? Um, mm-hmm. And then you hear a uh, man's voice, very low, um, speaking in drow. Um, At this point, no, you don't, Um, but you hear the words um, Nightshade and Darkthorn. And then... Nightshade and what's that? Darkthorn, D-A-R-K-T-H-O-N. You don't know what that is. Um, And uh, everything else doesn't make sense, everything else sounds drow. Um, And at that moment... uh, the person whose mind you are scrying goes blank. You get the impression from the nightshade obviously it's just been drugged. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but you are able to tell everybody else that it was in drow. Um possibly um sorry Maverick, go ahead, Maverick, go ahead. Uh, I was just gonna repeat, repeat everything what? I just said. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Um, can you um, can you say any of the words <laughs> in drow that you've learned? And I'm gonna cast comprehend languages from my helm. I also speak out the common. Um, I'm the problem with Cardiff. Sh- this is Hydra. Hydra. Mm. Um, but as he repeats three different words, um, before Kenna can even respond, Brax turns around and says, that says, shut her up. Why were they speaking in drow? Maybe because they were drow. No. <laughs> He's not a drow. <laughs> How do you know? Their trace is different. The, the drow's magic comes from the Fezris. Um It is uh, a lichen that grows in the Underdark. That's where drow magic comes from. It doesn't come from the earth like most magics. Even so, if they exist, um, their trace would be totally different. So then, judging by his aura, what was he? Do you Anything know? else. Um, the drow, and he's not a race of the Underdark. He draws his magic from the sunlight like the rest of us. Although I suppose perhaps the person he was speaking to is a drow. They're far to the east, they're moving east. Do you know of any drow contacts in the east? In a drow are everywhere. Maverick, did you see where they were? Um, um, I saw that they were about to head into an inn, but um, Iona got blindfolded and then what did it look like? drove beforehand. What, what did the ground look like? Was it sand? Yes. yes. Um, Ask him yes if I should know. <laughs> yeah, no, but how else would he ask you? Um, but yes, uh, you are able to supply him with the fact that it was yes, sand. Yes, the ground was indeed Slightly sand. red in colour. Um, and at I that did, point it is he... slightly red in colour. Okay. I did that we have point... enough understanding of geography to make this um, well, distinction for ourselves? I think we can well. probably all work out where is sandy, red sand mm-hmm. to the east. Um, yeah, yeah. The map is pretty fucking clear. Um, yeah, but I'm talking in terms of from a character perspective rather than just from a Some of you might have an idea, but he's going to tell you straight up that means they're in a rent here. Oh, yes, of course. Do you you use her? Her? Will you follow her? How could he possibly have gotten there so fast? Distance what is, is this teleportation? not an issue. It is as simple as this, and he gestures with the hand, and there is a pull to a rent here. And he says, perhaps we can get ahead of them. Maybe scry when we're there. I well, I'm of, not leaving her. I know of a place in Arenti where I have contact with a couple of drow. And the silent operator. I'm worried about this, guys. We are... We have already, to act, obviously, but... I'm already heading toward the fear portal. we're already horrendously out of our depth. Okay, well... Slip outside the room. I shall do my best, and we'll call somebody else, but before we go, some of you look tired. Um, 
and perhaps this might help. And he takes a small vial of silver-looking liquid. Take a small mouthful of each of you. He hands it to you. Um, he will hand it to Rook. I'll pass it around. Okay. Um, if you take a mouthful, you will receive the benefits of a long rest. Um, Leavold, what exactly do you expect us to do in this situation then, if not to go after her? I'm not saying, I'm not saying not to. We have to, but I still feel we're horrendously out of our depth. Aren't we always? That's, doesn't matter. More than usual. My friend is wrong. Yeah, stronger than you know. Bonds between you are strong. And. Frankly, if it comes to a fight, I don't expect you to participate. We do okay. need to let us be kidnapped and not get some retribution in part of this. If you can contribute, please do, but you may find the fight is not the type of fight you're used to. Let's go. Um, I, f I stepped out of the room. Yeah. I'm going to pull out the mirror. Okay. And call Celine. Celine. Do I see Kenna doing this at any point, or...? Yeah, I mean, most of you are aware that she's gone out. You probably work out why. Um, and as you open the mirror... Um, open the mirror? As you contact through the mirror. Um, you see sort of... Celine. Kenna. Sorry. Sorry. I don't have and time. She just sort of chucks on a night dress. And, uh, what, what do you need? Ion has been taken. By who? It's unclear. He's not Rax, a member of Violent. I know who Rax is. I, I can't go, I can't I know go who into Vrax all... Is. He's, he, Vrax is not who people think he is. I've spoken to him recently. He's one of us. Beyond the silent. He doesn't take his orders from the silent. I'm sorry, I didn't think you'd need to know. Varks doesn't take his orders from the silent, he never has. I'll... table that. The... Is he with you? <sighs> yes, and we're we're going to Arenti. Lord Vantus Ask where? Is... What? Ask where in Arenti. You know what the fuck this? Give me two Where minutes. in Arenti? And hold the portal away from your face. The mirror away from your oh, face. Oh boy. I'm going to turn it around. And she'll just <laughs> lob on some random ass clothing and she's just going to pull up the portal and just come straight through. <laughs> right. It's good to see you. Kenna. Diabled. Oh, yes, you look different. Um, very well. I'm sorry, my queen, but. We really don't have the time for pleasantries. Uh, well, be that as it may. Uh, with Arenti, where? Pone Sutra. Okay. Um, do we have a contact there? Um, where's Valus at the moment? He's stationed outside the city, man. Oh, okay. No use. Olisk? Olesk is near Arenti. Call him. We'll go together. I mean, I called you to inform you about Lord Bantus. Lord Bantus? He's being held in Jazuk in the mountains in the palace of Shirashai. I didn't know if anybody would be able to do anything about it. But you needed to know. I care for Lord Bantus, but frankly, I would like to focus on the girl. Well, are we going to go or stand here? You make a good point. Let's go. I'm stepping through. Uh, Maverick, did you want to say something before what happens? I'm worried about this. Um, I, I, I was just going to conquer and walk through. You're gonna conquer? No. Um. Incur. 
Yeah. Conquer. Conquer. Sorry, yes. No, I thought you said conquer. I was thinking, who are you conquering? Um, okay, excellent. Um, you me thinking I said the wrong word. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Um, so as you step through the portal, it is uh, it is freezing cold. Um, the wind is whipping. At the center of night, deserts are freezing. Uh. Um, the moon is large in the sky and dark, right? And you appear to be on the edge of a town. As uh, you arrive, um, it, it looks sort of... Some of this town is temporary. There are tents, there are put-together buildings, and there is a character waiting shortly in front of you, an elf. Um, he has his cow pulled low. Um, and... <laughs> Sorry, did you just say there's a character waiting for you? <laughs> waiting in front of you. Um, sort of as the portal opens, he's like literally three foot in front. Um, such a weird thing to say. Yeah, and he bows, Your Majesty. Right. Uh, you're worried for somebody. And right, since the lady Iona, you won't know of her. Uh, the daughter of barkeep. He sort of looks confused. She matters. Possibly the Red Moon Tavern. But, we don't know. Somewhere in a rentier. You said it looked like an inn? You did the scrying. Do you think you could try again? Sure, I will do so. I will take out um, my scrying ball. And I shall say, they're all powerful scrying or <laughs> Will we find Iona before she's dead? A magic eight. Ball. Looks like yes! <laughs> Are you going to attempt to scry for her again? Yeah. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. I mean, I think that's all we need, but what? Uh, give me a performance check. Shall I assist on this one again, or uh, no need? You can try to broadcast this with an Arcana check, but I'm going to say that it's unlikely your understanding has particularly grown in the last 30 um, seconds, so you'll need a very yeah. high roll. It's a 13. Okay. Um, at this time, you are looking down, and you're definitely looking down at Iona. Um, give me an intelligence check here. Seventeen. Okay. Um, you see a bedroll uh, laying on the floor and cobbled stones. Over to your left you see two barrels. Um, and just above that is a strange sort of shelving system that appears to be X crosses. Um, you mean like where you'd um, store wine? Fantastic. I'll let you not make the inside check then. Um, yes, uh, you assume that this is some sort of cellar, possibly to an inn. Or a tavern, yeah. Um, yeah, and do you make people aware of this? And people, you are now aware of this. And uh, Varak simply goes, oh, fuck. I'm bad. There can't be a cellar here. It's a desert. It didn't hold. Certainly there's no tavern to the Red Moon. There's no cellar to the Red Moon Tavern. So... And there's no sense of his magic here. Go again. Okay. Sunin sort of... Hold on, hold on. I have an idea. No offense, Maverick, but you seem a little new to this. Oh, um, are you addressing me now, Celine? Hi, nice to see you. <laughs> Not the time, ever. Also, um, you are fairly new to this? Yeah. Um, and she, she sort of takes a ring out of a pouch and she puts it on. She goes, yeah, focus for a moment. And then she just yells at Eldrin! God's sake! Wake up! Good. Oh, crap. And I got your attention. Do you remember the girl Iona from Drathnok Keep? Yes, I know Iona. It's the sort of impression that you're getting. 
fucking find her. She's in a tavern somewhere. But we need more. And then she goes silent and is staring at the ground for a few moments. He says the Red Moon Tavern. In Rent. He says they're in a cellar, but... Well, he told me that makes no sense, but that's where, he, that's where she is. Also says there is a drow guarding her. Well, I'm going. And she walks up to the tavern. I'm assuming you're all going to follow? Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, she opens the door, sort of just wandering in. Um, and immediately, everybody in the room stands up. You see six dragonborn, uh, three drow, uh, two elves, and a gnome. And then sitting in the corner, you see a figure cowled in black. I need you all to make Christmas saving throws. Is... are we within five feet of it? Oh, son of a bitch. That's a 21. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. I think I can re-roll that. 17. I need to just check. Ah, twenty-one. Is it? Uh, who got below a f- below a fourteen? Uh, I did. Okay, I will need a second because. Okay. Uh, Kenna, did you get above a fourteen? At twenty. Right. <coughs> um. Oh no, it's the bit that you check, isn't it? Okay. This, uh, this, it, this song is perfect for this. Perfect for the no, session or I'm perfect for the it. wait? <laughs> perfect for the wait. Oh, <laughs> fuck me. Okay, fantastic. Um, yeah, Leobald and Rope, um, you are in a small room. Um, you don't see each other. Each of you is in a small room, and before you is a series of levers. There is a chain pull from the ceiling. Uh, it is dark, and there is a small purple light emanating from the ground. God. The rest of you, and you look around the tavern and you see that Celine looks entirely lost. As you turn to your left and right, um, you see that Leovold and Rook are looking exactly the same. Leovold, um, you may make an... Make an insight check. Rook, I'm afraid you can't. 23? <laughs> That'll do. Um, you've not touched this side of your magic before, but you understand that something has been done to your mind. Oh. Uh, are you willing to take a risk and delve and trying to sort it out, or are you going to play with some levers? If I delve, how chaotic is this going to go? You don't know. Fuck it. We got it. You, you, yeah, okay. We're going. Um, I will need you How to much roll... wild magic do I have to fucking roll? Nothing, yes. What you will okay. need to do is uh, make... Uh, Shit. Make two checks uh, with your spellcasting modifiers. Uh... I can't remember if you're charisma or intelligence. Sorry. Uh, it's D- uh, two checks, then. The sorcery, yeah. So make your first charisma check for me. Uh, that's a 26 and a 21. 26 and 21. Okay. Um, the first time you begin this, you start to see memories fast, flooding through your mind. Um, Shit. And they're going too fast for you to even work out what they are. Um, I... But then they stop at the moment that you walked into that tavern. And you said the second one was a 21? Yes. And you see a cowled figure in the corner just raise his hand and wave it slightly. And look straight at you. You will need to roll on the wild magic table. Um, you've got a nat 1 for the severity. Oh, 
Kai. Um, oh no. That's right, he can only kill himself. <laughs> you can slap him if you want, Maverick, but it'll just do nothing and lose everyone. Okay. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, for one week I have um, two additional fourth level spell slots. Sick. Um, Sorry, two additional third level. Okay. Um, and you will also take 22 psychic damage. Shit. Okay. However, you are no longer in a strange room with levers. But you are very, very focused on the one character in the corner. You're struggling to even turn your head to look at other people. Consider yourself charmed, but you are out of that room. Uh, Rook, uh, you will have to make an intelligence check to see if you can get out. Yes, Maverick? Um, so... We're in the tavern, and they're looking, like, yeah. yeah, lost. Is there anyone else, uh, do we see anyone else in the tavern? Yeah, there are six dragon uh, uh -huh. there are four drow, there is a man, mm -hmm. um, there is a human, and in the corner is uh, a cowled figure, mm, sort of looking over towards you guys. Uh, what was I noticed. Uh, nine. Yeah, okay, you're going to be there for a while. Um, is there anything that yeah. us, we feel like Wait, we can do to help them? You have it. Am I, am I like, am I myself in this room? Yeah, very much so. Right with it. So I had my sword. Yeah. Can I just slice the, uh, any random lover out of rage? Sure. Whack away. Um, I do have greater restoration. And then that is the only way you will be able to get him out of this. If Celine looks, prayer, prayer bead. if Celine looks more than dazed for a minute, I'm just gonna grab her and push her back to the center of the group, so she's not out um, front. Yes, well, Celine needs to roll her intelligence check. That ain't good. I don't think she can fail that. Um, she can most definitely fail that. She's not a wizard. Oh shit! Um, yeah, no, that's a complete flop on her part. She's got a twelve. Um, and uh, yes, um, at that point, you will need to decide, Brother Amari, whether you're going to bring Rook or. Celine out of this. During this time, can I maybe try and ascertain where this is, this effect is coming from? Uh, you, it's fairly obvious to all of you um, that all your friends who are looking dazed are probably affected by the guy in the corner. Uh, and, but this is we're in a split second at the moment. Yeah. Um, so even if you're going to cast Brother Alara, you won't be able to do it immediately. Maverick, go and speak. Um, I, I want to go over to the cowed person. Okay, so if we're going to resume within the room... Um, the uh, drow and the dragonborn begin to surround you all and draw weapons. Like I said, the first thing I do is pull Celine back to the center. Yep, yeah, absolutely fine. Um, Rax? And you see that as you look behind you, Vrax is in really deep concentration. And you kind of sense that he might be trying to do something with the guy in the corner. Um, okay. At this um, moment, the the elf that you met is going to step out in front of you all. Uh, Maverick, go on. Um, with them all drawing their weapons, mm -hmm. I'm gonna, like, like, look around and, like, look, look, like, you know, turn around and, like, look at them all. Like, what's the problem here? There are no visitors welcome tonight. You need to leave. Well, you then let go, let go of the hold you have on our friends, and we will leave. Maybe you can answer our questions. This is a dragonborn speaking. He says, I cannot let go of any hold, as I do not have any hold on your friends. Then tell whoever does to let them go. Our esteemed guest will do so when he is finished with your friend. And Finish doing what? I believe they call it a contest of wills. Why? I don't pretend to understanding anything about magic, but I do understand orders. I'm sick of this cryptic shit. And will you carry your friends out? Um, Give us the girl. Girl? The girl in the cellar. Cellar? There's no cellar here. Look around you. That man came in with a girl. Where did he put her? 
I've seen no girl, I'm afraid. It, and I, I rolled into I understand. You... You are looking for a friend? Yes. Yeah, I'd like An to insight that as well. Carl. Carlos. Carl. You might need to tap your friend. Um, and then he will go over to the cloaked man in the corner. Um, do any of you speak uh, Draconic? Uh, That's yes. a really stupid question, of course, kind of speaks Draconic. Um, he's, calling, he's calling this man Master. Um, but in Draconic. Um, and he goes over to tap his tap the cloaked figure on the shoulder. At the same time, you one of you will need to poke Vrax. Um, as he walks away, um, I want... <laughs> this is not going to get anything, um, but I'll try. I'm going to spend a sorcery point to use soul magic. Mm -hmm. And I want to use detect thoughts on the guy in the corner. Anything. Nothing. I was hoping that it's, having it's like many... it's like staring at a blank wall. Uh, I was hoping However, that... as you fire your spell at him, it bounces off, and instead you're in the thoughts of the draconic. <coughs> of the dragonborn, sorry. Um, and what you get is a series of thoughts about. He said nothing of a visitor. Um, and what a cellar? A cellar? What are they thinking about? Look at this place. How could there be a cellar here? Never explains anything, and that's the thoughts you're getting. Um, yeah, as you try I, to cast that guy must be guy. incredibly powerful to be doing all of that once. If you tried to cast any sort of mind magic on either of these scientists, you would find it blank. Like their mind is almost not within their mind. Um, okay. But is somebody going to prod Vrax? Yes. Oh. Sure. Um, Lucius just elbows him in the forehead. Yes, uh, wake up. <laughs> okay, and at this moment, um, you see both of them sort of blink for a moment, look at each other, and then the dragonborn turns to the man. They say you brought a girl in and put her in a cellar. What cellar? And he simply waves his hand and turns, and the, the man, sort of, the dragonborn goes, Okay. Um, you all need to leave. It's Gotta restore like Selene. he has completely forgotten anything he was thinking of in the past moments. He is a did we Did we notice him seeming to cast Oh, he definitely something? cast, yes. He definitely, definitely does. It, I know I can't. And I'll, I'll lean over to Maverick. Maverick, maybe you can recognize what spell that was. Well, all right, can you just can, can I dragonborn? use? Can I? It, would that be an Arcana check to do that? Or would it I just not be something I knew? The Dragonborn. Because it's not like it's not like my the the magic I use is normal sorcery magic. No, you know what I mean? I don't think it's a chance. Maverick knows. I'm just wondering. Yeah. Um, Leovold is charmed. <laughs> So you're getting He's nothing trying. out of him. Um, you could perhaps. Um, I, I, Lucius, give me an insight check. That's the best bet. I will try. Because it's really nothing to do with that. What do you want? Um, you get the impression that it's not what he's casting now. It's that he's almost enslaved this person, this dragonborn. It's, uh, it's like he almost owns his mind. It's no. the type of thing a greater restoration could heal? God, no. You know, Linta, Kenna, Kenna, this is the one you saw take Iona, right? It, it is, yes. Okay, we'll trust GM. you. Uh, sorry? <laughs> <laughs> I the, the, the guy in the corner is who took. Um, Very much so. Who, he looks exactly uh, like Vrax. Okay. We don't. And, okay. We have we no for the rest of you. He took one of us. We want her back. You hear Vrax talk from behind you. The soldiers are not a problem. But where the hell is the cellar? 
Um, uh, I'm gonna, wait, let me just, I'm sure I've got it, but let me just check. Okay, um, I'm gonna telepathically, um, say to, mm, can I <laughs> pick someone at random? <laughs> um, but do you suppose that they could be using illusion magic to hide the cellar entrance? I'm just going to shrug. We don't look over at Celine. Does she seem to be coming out of it? Uh, did we cast Greater Restoration? I was trying to see if it was uh, popping off um, or not, but uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and cast I, I, She can make one more save and... Ooh. All right, yeah, sure. I'll take another 20. Um, yeah, she'll break out of it eventually. Um, Pete, I'm going to go help out Rook. Okay, um, yes, as you head over to Rook. The soldiers aren't moving. Jamal, sorry, can you make some noise happen? Or go or anybody, just to do a thing so that it plays again. Up, up, up. Um, yeah, uh, you, um, Rook, you, you, you will come out of your trance. You see, the soldiers aren't attempting to move towards you. They're not attempting to push you out. They're just standing there, weapons in hand. You notice that the human and the gnome are not. They are sat to the side. Um, one is in the far right of the tavern, one is in the far left. And they're watching, but they're not doing anything. Do we recognize the gnome? No. Um, but it appears like these soldiers, they're not really with it. They seem like they're just kind of puppets, and they don't really understand what's going on. Yeah, 100%. I need currently, I don't have time for this. I'm pulling out my sword. Okay. I can recommend we at least don't kill them. And what are you going to do with your sword? I'm sitting at the ready, mostly. Um, I'm looking toward Ken and everybody else, but I'm raring to go. Um, Cast bless on everyone. At this moment, Lucius... If Celine her... comes out of it, right? Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. At this moment, Lucius, you hear a voice in your head. Sparks. You. You look like you can move quickly. Yes. Back left of the room, you see that door? Yes. Go. No problem. I'll, um... I'll spend the key point to cast... Oh, actually, I don't need to. Nope. Um, yeah, I'll, uh... I'll dash, yeah, 90 feet. <coughs> okay, um, it's only 35 to the door. Wait. Um, when you get to the door... Um, there is a uh, sort of beginning of a staircase down, but it's like one step, and then there's a black murky puddle on the floor, but it's possibly not liquid, possibly okay. magic. Mm, I'm going to take out, um, I'm taking, I have some spare clothes, I'm going to dip it into the liquid, what, does anything happen? Uh, they go disappear unless you're holding very tightly um but so nah, every bit just... of it that went towards it disappeared um disappeared. it's like a portal but you get the idea that bits of you could submerge at a time like it's a disruption in the planes but do i feel like i probably hmm um, fuck it <laughs> okay, uh, for the rest of you, what you saw was as Lucius dash, um, the soldiers sort of briefly swayed to the side and just sort of moved slightly out the way and then continued just to stare blankly at the rest of you. Um, all of you get the impression that there is still some sort of contest of wills going on between the two cult figures. Um, Lucius, uh, what were you going to do with your puddle? Um, I'm going to... Oof. I wonder. Well, yeah, you know what? I'm going to take, a, just to be sure, I'm going to take a, um, a, I guess like a piece of chalk or something like that and um, just hold tightly and dip it in there and try and pull it back out. Does it come back out? Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to go in. Okay, roll well, initiative, please. All right. And at, as you're going through, um, before you quite get in, you hear a voice in your head saying, what do you see? What do I say? No, before you get in. Oh, uh, 
Oh, it's too late. I'm already gone. I just see a black portal. Black puddle. Cool. A black puddle. That's all you need to sell it. <laughs> right, <laughs> and you go through. Um, okay. And as you get into the room, um, you see one drow. Um, he has a sword in one hand and a dagger in the other. Um, yeah. And uh, he, he's going to attempt to beat the shit out of you. It's fine. Um, you all have ways of talking to each other, do you not? Um, I'm a telepath, but Don't apart you? from that... Did we never give you guys a way of telepathically talking to each other? I've got sending, but that's about it. Nope. Nope. That's every other campaign. Yeah. <laughs> Lucius, you're yeah, you're alone in this. Once you get this home, ready, bugger. Um, sorry, I've just realised I've created this bit for the wrong campaign. <laughs> um, um, well, I mean, like, can Nuvon, well, my, how are you handling this? <laughs> will my um, will my telepathic feet work wherever he is? Yeah. Like, yeah. All right. Well, seeing that he well depends. Um, right. What what is it? Sorry, telepathic feet. Um. Like an aberrant mind sorcerer? What does it allow you to do? You are able to speak telepathically to any creature as long as you share a language. You can also learn the detect thought spell and can cast a spell without expending a spell slot. Recharge oh, it's the feet? The actual yeah. feet, it's right? It's any I creature see. you can see within 60 feet. Sorry. It does, it, yeah, it, it does if you, if you look at the oh, yeah, description. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, never mind. So, no. Um, but Lucius, you do have a constant voice in your head. Um, you could always speak back. Um, yes. Regardless, you are going to be in a fight. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, uh, what was your initiative, please? Uh, seven. It was terrible. Oh, dear. Um, yeah, you're not only are you going to be in a fight, you're going to get hit first. <laughs> um, that is... Disad disadvantage. Um, oh, why? Cloak of Displacement. Ah, yes. Uh, oh. That's a 22. That hits. Um... That's seven damage, but you need to make a uh, constitution saving throw. Okay. Natural 20, 22. Okay, you'll take 15 poison damage. Okay. Um, and the second hit is... a 20. Uh, that hits. Oh, right. Oh, that's four damage. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, you're up. All right. Um, do I see, uh, do I see Iona down here, Iona? Okay, you see Iona, uh, bound, uh, feet and hands, face down, um, upon the bedroll. Um, you see that, uh, the rest of the room, there is a bucket, a bedroll, and it appears to be, uh, the basement of an inn. Is she awake or, un or unconscious? Clearly unconscious. Unconscious, okay. The portal, is it? Is it, um, do I still see it? Yeah, it's at the top of the staircase. How many feet back? Um, well, three behind you. Um, and she is 20 foot across the room. Okay. But she's unconscious, you said, right? Hmm. Would I be able to tell if I, would I be able to rouse her at all or no? Uh, you get the idea from what Maverick said earlier that she's very drugged. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to. Uh, he's like right on me, right? Let me see something. Yeah, he's at the bottom of the staircase. Yeah. It's just the most unusual battle music we've ever had in my life. <laughs> uh, let me just. Um, okay. Well, the poison is the, is the big problem. So, uh, I'm going to spend a, uh... <laughs> Actually, that's fine. I'm just going to take a disengage action. Mm -hmm. Head back through the portal. Yeah. And I found her. There's one, there's one protecting her down here. She's unconscious and bound. And this, I'll say, it's saying this to everybody, of course. Okay. All right, let's go. Um, none of you hear this. Lucius, as you look to the door you came through, mm -hmm. it is closed and appears to be shimmering with a light. I'm locked in here. Well, I guess I will be fighting. 
that is your choice. Um, the rest of you, um, what you currently have going on is quite simply the strangest thing ever. There is a room that is completely silent. Um, Celine has twice gone to speak and then immediately stopped talking. Like, she couldn't. Uh, Leovold uh, came out of this state in a charm. Um, she appears to be somewhat under the same effects, although she didn't break through quite as violently. I'm going to summon Shakar in front of the hooded figure and tell her to just roar at him and to try to distract him from the contest that he's having. Hmm. I love it. Oh! He rolled a three! Um, yeah. Uh, very suddenly, Lucius, you see the door. The magic around it stops shimmering. Um, the All the Dragonborn... Uh, soldiers and the uh, drow soldiers start to sort of turn slightly to the left and right. Um, Selene and Rook are completely with it, um, and Vrax appears to have the open hand, uh, open the upper hand, sorry. And each of these soldiers will immediately kneel upon the floor and bow their heads. And then you all hear a voice in your head: "Find your friend." I'm going to run toward the door that... Yeah, I'm going to go immediately. Okay, um, oh. Celine will also do do so. Um, I'm still charmed though, aren't I? So I can't... No, no, all of you are clear of every ability. Like, you are completely... Wait, from... so did I get cleared of the charm? Uh, when his concentration was disrupted by Kenna. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, I'm assuming well, Shikar just... can move back pretty quickly, right? I can... You said Shikar? Yeah. So yeah, she's going to fly to you, to right? Him, she's, okay, she's, good. Yeah. Yeah. She'll just fly to you as you go through. That's fine. I was, yeah. just, I was like, is she like right on, <laughs> on his face, you know? <laughs> um, cool. And you are all able to go through. And you may join in the initiative. <laughs> on the way, can I throw out my emboldening bond? Um, no. <laughs> no, we'll make you take that as your turning combat. Um, Neable, that's a six. Um, yeah, let's not. <laughs> um, Brother Larry. Be a um, brother, what are you? Uh, Kenna? Uh, 16. 16 and 10, yeah. Okay. Um, Lucius, obviously, you will get there first. You see your party members come in behind you. Uh, do you go down? Um, yes, I'm going to. So, if I see them behind me, yes. Okay, um, and you may just resume your turn uh, with 40-foot mm -hmm. less movement speed. Mm -hmm. No problem. Um, I'm just going to... Uh, uh... Deck the fuck uh, He was yeah. for 1v1. Well, I, well, well, no, I, I, use my, I use my action. I use my action to dis disengage, that's why. Oh, use um, your action? Yeah, I use my action to disengage. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's how I can disengage. So, yeah, um, no, yeah, no, that's fine. Um... It is my next turn, so my cloak displacement should be back up. No, it's still my, it's still my, it's still my turn actually, because one be, because he hit me. Turn, Jesus. Um, I'll just spend a key point cast patient defense right now. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. Um, that takes us to Kenna. Okay. Um, am, am I already through the portal? Yes. Okay. Uh, you'll just be down fifteen foot of movement speed. Don't know How what far away is this guy? For him. Uh, eight foot. Okay, I'll take a swing at him. It's very cramped on this staircase. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I did not design this encounter for six people. Uh, I'm sure. Uh, just, just take a shot at him, it's fine. Uh, 19. Uh, yeah, that hits. And uh, 18. That also This is feeling very, very one-sided here. <laughs> I never considered 20 damage. He'd be able to break his concentration, yeah. And 12 damage. Okay, he's wounded. Uh, Rook, you're up. I'm gonna bonus action rage. Sure. And then I'm going, I'm going to run down the stairs and grapple him and like <laughs> put both my hands around his neck. Okay, athletics check, please. That's right. <laughs> 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 um, I got a yeah, you 16. Got a hmm. You have advantage? No. 
Actually, I have advantage on strength checks, don't yeah. I? Or is it just saving throws? No, no, strength checks, I think. Or is it saving? Yeah, you might be right, actually. It's 22, I know. Okay, it's so still yeah, lower, 24. Still yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I still have a second action. You have haste? I will slice. What was that? You have haste? No, 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 I have a second action. I have two attacks for action. Oh, two attacks, right, okay, sorry, yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and hit. Yeah, that's what, I meant, that's what I meant. Yeah. Say 14 to hit. I'm gonna get the misses. Nope. Uh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be standing behind him. Okay. Brother like, Larry, you're up. Cow, you're muted. Dad. Um, so, Bonding Bond on Leovold, Lucius, and Rook. And I'm going to use my bonus action to throw a healing word at Iona to see if it'll wake her up. No. All right. Okay. Uh, be able. So we're we're absolutely killing this fucker, yeah. Yeah, seems like it. Right. Uh, yeah. Time to activate that circlet. Uh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, guys, stop bullying this poor guy. He was designed for a one v one. He's got thirty HP left. Just hit him. <laughs> right. For a fucking country. Okay. <laughs> so, first ray. Uh, is that fourteen hit? No, that misses. Second ray, uh, that's a 25 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Uh, that's 7 damage. He's wounded. Uh, uh, that's a 19 to hit. That'll hit. Yeah, that's 10 damage. He's severely wounded. Does that conclude your turn? Um, does it? Um, yeah. Okay, fantastic. Maverick, you're up. I don't know how, I didn't roll any shit. <laughs> oh, that's why you're on zero, sorry. Um, um, yeah, no, I'm staying in the other room. Oh, okay, cool. Um, oops, yes. Well, well, I will strike him. Very good. Oh, sorry, no, not lose, yes, my apologies. Oh, okay. Yes, there is, uh, he, he has more initiative than you, I don't know why I decided not to. <laughs> um, Screw him, he doesn't get turns. Uh, charisma save, please. Me? Oh, no, sorry, deck save, deck save. Oh, me? Yeah, please. Okay. Oh, all of you, all of you, not just you. What about your relevant one? Uh, what did you get, Lucius? Uh, 14. Okay, good. Um, the rest of you, if you get below a 15, you will have fairy fire on you. Mm. And then, um... Lucky for you, he still won't have an uh, advantage, but that will make it a straight hit. That's eight, and you need to make a constitution saving throw. Twelve. Ah, that's a fail. He'll take 32 poison damage. Mm -hmm. Can I, um... Can I switch places with him with the Emboldening Bond swap thing? And take all that damage? Sure. Be my guest. 32? So will take 20 overall. 20 damage? Yeah. Um, and then he'll hit you again. That's a 20 to hit. Who's oh, he no, hitting? Like, uh, Rook, what was your dex save? My dex save was a 19. Okay, cool. Uh, that's a 20 to hit. Who's this on? You. You swap places with Lucius, uh, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, that hits. I think it just puts you next to Lucius. Let's put some next to him. I'm assuming he's going to hit you, because you've just got in the way. Right. Um, yeah, tw 20 hits there. 7, and make a constitution save, please. I've just realized, it was just the first time I hit you, I didn't make you make the second con save, did I? <laughs> I just hit you before. No, you're fine. It's fine. It 23 on the con save. Okay, 23 on the con save. In that case, you will take 12 uh, before you take half it, so... 12 poison halved again, so 6... Uh, no, wait, did you, did you take half damage from poison? No, I don't, I don't take half the poison. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, the previous one, you can double the poison damage, so you took 32 on the previous one, uh, which was instead of 16. So you took 16 extra poison damage, and then 25 this time. So it's 41 poison damage. Um, Lucius, would you like to punch him? Or yes, slash would. him, or smack him, or whatever you want to do. Wow, natural one on that one. I'm not oh, feeling it today. Um, mm, 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 mm. 
Wow, 13. Holy shit. That also Not rolling Does good. anybody want to hit this guy? Not rolling good today. It's got 15 AC. <laughs> <laughs> Not rolling good today. I'm glad you won um, in the 1v1 with him. Jesus. See, told you. We don't, we don't shoot fair with the draft, no keep. Um, I'm going to flurry of blows. Let's try. I really didn't think I would need more than a four minute battle music for this. Um, yeah, uh, sorry, what was the next one? Flurry of blows, 25. Yeah, that'll hit. Uh, eight, uh, eight bludgeoning damage, and uh, I'm gonna go for a stunning strike on that on the first one. Twenty on the constant. Okay. And then the second flurry of blows, twenty-five again. Uh, seven points of bludgeoning damage. Really and, uh, yes, he's brought to his knees with damage. Stun, stunning strike. He's incapable of making constitution save at this moment. He is stunned and prone and on his knees. Um, Perfect. Kenna, kill him. Would you like to? <laughs> Throw a hat at him. <laughs> You'll never believe this. I rolled with advantage and got a two and a three for a total of fourteen. <laughs> fourteen. Uh, fourteen I'll roll misses. Again. <laughs> Actually, that twenty. Um, okay. You don't roll with advantage. I have to tell you because. Um, oh, I thought he said he was stunned. Yeah, but he's prone. also prone, right? And you fire with disadvantage when he's prone. He's just, he's just I'm, sword. I'm sword. Yeah. Oh, you're sorting him. Yeah, sure. Back yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's a natural 20. Fantastic. Brilliant time to Chris. He's dead. Yeah. Um, okay. Brilliant. Um, if anybody wants to loot him, by the way, there are two daggers of venom on him um, and a uh, hand crossbow um, with 20 dots. Mm. That's fine. That's um, just in case you're interested, he doesn't have any gold on him. Um, more importantly, I is in the corner. All right. So I'll, uh, I'll head over and start to untie her. Okay. You do so. Nice. Hey. Nothing. You okay? Nothing. I'll uh, pick her up and uh, start to walk toward the door. Walk to everybody. Actually, walk to Lori. I'm sorry. Do you think you could do anything with this? Yeah. As you're approaching me, I'm, I'm already healing Rook. Uh, Rook, take a 18 dam um, HP. Uh, and then I'll turn uh, turn to Lucius. I tried to wake her up earlier during the fight, but uh, I'll take another gander at it. Uh, can I roll medicine, medicine to check. see why she's... Yep. Can I help with that? Uh, you can, but it won't make any difference. It's a 20. Unless he can roll less than a 6. It's a 20. Um, yeah, she's poisoned by something you don't understand. You know that none of your magic's gonna wake her up. Well, this is bad. Even a oh, lesser restoration? Back. Even a greater restoration, oh my god. So Luke, Celine came in here with us, right? Uh, no, Celine's still upstairs. Um, no, Celine did come down with you. Sorry, Celine did come down with you. Um, in that case, she will go up and have a look at the girl. Um, she will go and have a look at the girl. And, uh... Hmm. She's poisoned with nightshade. There's no reason for her to be unconscious. So... She's... She's also rude. In terms of... Monks, she's powerful. I can't believe she can actually expel this herself. Um, um so Leovold. Uh, make yes. Him, make a bit of Arcana check. Uh, that's a lot of Arcana checks for someone with a plus one modifier to int. That's on your seven. I don't really know what else to call it. Uh, do you want to make it? I, I tell you what. Instead, give me a roll with your spellcasting modifier. Actually, you know what I am going like to a do? Charisma check, sure. Uh, an ability check that fails, I'll spend one sorcery point mm -hmm. and I'll um, use a new roll. Okay. But yeah, I mean. Well, uh, that's your... a fucking that one. Yeah, um, the six. What's your charisma modifier? Uh, my charisma mod's plus five. Okay, that still wouldn't have made it. Um, yeah. Cool. Yeah, um, well, at, at that point, uh, none of you are really capable of working out what's wrong with her. She's not hurt in any way, physically. Well, it's, it's best we get out of here. Let's go. That won't work, Larry. Um, it's specifically the old. Otherwise, I would have got Maverick to do it. He's the one with the Arcana check proficiency. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, are you guys going to head back up? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, as you head back up, um, you uh, go into the room 
and everybody's moved to the outsides of the room. And standing before the cloaked figure in the corner is Olisk, the uh, elf that was waiting for you when you got there. Um, Maverick, um, during this time, uh, what you witnessed was um, a sort of the, the all the soldiers uh, stood up and walked to the edge of the room. Um, what would your response have been? Well, I'd be trying to have a conversation with the hooded person. At no point did he speak back to you. I would have, uh, if at some point, gone over to him and like tried to pull his cow down. Okay, cool. Make a, wisdom save. Make a wisdom save. As you get close. Why am I always being attacked? Because you're trying to attack him. I'm not attacking him. I'm trying to pull his. He would down, see so that I... as an attack. He would be majorly affronted and personally upset. A wisdom save. Yeah. That's a dirty 20. Okay. Um, you get close to him. And then you'll need to make a strength save. But you will get close to him. You are close enough to pull his cow. Jesus. It's an interesting place to throw the dice. That's 18. 18 on the strength save. Bloody hell, look at you. Um, yeah. Um, not only are you able to pull his cow down, but you are also able to step back as he tries to grab you. And you're able to pull away. Um, as you pull his cowl down, um, you see the face of an elf. Um, he has dark green eyes and long blonde hair. He looks a little... What? what? Just... He looks similar to someone you've seen before. Give me an insight check. He looks similar, similar to a character I have. <laughs> He looks just like William Hale. <laughs> What's the... What am I rolling for? An in check. Sixteen. He looks very like the Lady Alana. Queen of the Elves. Is, uh, do we make our way up right now? Um, at this moment, Olisk, uh, Maverick, charges past you and begins to hold a dagger towards him, but you can see that it's like he's trying to press through a brick wall as he's getting he's closer that? and closer. Olisk, the elf that greeted you when you first came through the portal. Okay. Um, you can see he's being held, like, mentally, almost. Um, okay. Um, that's fine. I'll leave him as he is. Okay. Um... Just the rest of you come up, this is what you witness. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna uh, kind of like give him a quizzical look. Do you have a sister? You hear a voice in your mind walk away. Make a Christmas save. Jesus, man. Yeah, he's constant with this mind shit. In front of the well, he is trying to kidnap Iona. He wasn't going to be the nicest a, lad you've ever met. <laughs> the day twenty. Um. Yeah. Okay. Um. You just hear that, but you don't do anything. Am I allowed to telepathically speak back, or is he not going to allow me to? Um. Give me a. You're a sorcerer, right? Charisma yeah. check. Just spell casting modifier. These rolls. I swear I'm not cheating. That's a nat 20. Perfect. Um, he, what are you going to say? Sorry. I'm going to say... Um, look. You're lost. You're defeated. <laughs> Don't giggle at me, sir. Um... Before you run away, at least tell me what, why you tried to kidnap Iona. We didn't take Iona for Iona. You took Iona for... 
And at this moment, as you all get up the stairs, and Ornus is pressing the dagger forward, and Maverick is speaking in her mind, he teleports once next to Selene. He grabs her by the neck, and then he's gone. Huh? Dun dun dun! Um, Did we just trade Iona for Selene? And Frax. Turn without any hesitation, just sprint straight up to the portal moment, opens a door, and through he goes. You see a blue I follow. door. You're going? I'm straight away chasing after as well, following. Okay, yeah, in there. this case, I need each of you to roll a d20. And give me the number, oh. please. Um, oh, I don't know how many of you are going to make it. I'm, I'm not going in that door. It's a 19. Okay. Uh, Neil, with a 19? 17. 17. Rook? Or was it Cow? Sorry, which Ooh. one of you said that you were? I did, I got a 17. You got a 17 as well, okay. Um, Rook and Lucius, are you going? No, yeah, I got a 17. Oh, sorry, uh, Rook and Cow, are you going through? And Alari, are you... Uh, I got an 11. You got an 11, Lucius, are you going to attempt to go through? Yeah. Am I going to attempt to go through? No, I'm not. Then all four of you will make it. Um, oh, God. All you see before you is another blue door. I'm going to keep going. Charging okay. through it. Yeah. I'm not stopping. Okay. Um, you go through and you see a physical wooden door. Um, as you go to open it, it is locked. I don't I'm go to open kick, it. I, I'm kicking I, it straight through. I smash it. I just smash oh, it. I yeah, well, smash, it smash it. That's fine. Never <laughs> <mind>. <laughs> Even though Kenner is in the lead. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, who got the 11? Yo. Okay, you will be staying there. Um, we'll come back to you in a moment. The rest of you, uh, you get through to the next portal, and you see at the end of your inner sewers, and at the end of the corridor is another blue portal. Um, I'm not stopping. Uh, yeah. What is your movement speed, Kenner, Leobold, and uh, Rook? 40. 30 foot. Uh, 40. Leobold, you're left behind. Even with oh, dashing. Oh, boy. Yeah. Only, you needed over 30 feet to get through. Um, at this moment, uh, can I... Son of a bitch, I can't even do that with hasting myself? Ah, uh, shit. Yes. Uh, well, you've got time to haste yourself. Uh, can I rook? You see yourselves in a small, uh, dark room. Um, it is pitch black. Um, but, uh, as you go to step forward, you bump into somebody and they turn around. I lost them. Flex. How did you... Sensing you can't have it's lost them. Instant, but he's too quick. He's too quick. What is this? Where Where did we just... Where, where, are, where even are we? Oh, I haven't got a clue. Are these all his portals? I am simply reopening that which he had on. But and I what, there's no portal from here? The trace doesn't last long enough. As you use more and more psionic magic, the, the, it lasts for less and less time. By the time I get to the fifth portal, fourth portal, it's out of time by the time I get there. He locked the door somehow. Take us back the way we came. That could be complicated. Um. What do you mean, complicated? I can go straight back to Arenti, but... <sighs> Work with me here. Where did we just come from? In I'm gonna hold up a... I have, I have this ring. And I'm gonna hold the ring that, um... Leovold gave me, like, ten episodes ago that allows me to teleport somewhere that I've been. Ah! Excellent. Um, yeah, well, you can take it already back if you want, but, uh, if you can describe the sewers in detail, he will take you back there. I explain so the sewers. what you will need to do is give me a survival check, which somebody is particularly good at. I'm not going to leave them, so I'll stay with them. Yeah, no, but uh, I, I'm assuming Ken will give, do the survival check, not you. I have a plus five on that. I'm proficient in it. Yeah, he's better okay. than I am. Go for it. Give me a survival check. Ooh, I got an eight. Forget that. I'm at a 19. Perfect. We'll take, <laughs> we'll take a Laura's. <laughs> do you never trust the NDV on? It's rubbish. Um... <laughs> Yeah, uh, you describe them in enough detail that he's able to work out where they are. And, um, Leobold, um, they sort of bumble into you. 
Um, Where is she? I lost her. He lost her. Are you fucking serious? She formidable. She will find a way to contact us. We have to get I to all our. I am so fucking mad right now. I know. Me too. Trust me when I tell you that there is no way you want to find her more than I do. How do you know? So Don't you take your word what? for that, because... We need to have a talk. Yes, Now's not the time. Not we need to get to Alari. Now, Alari was... Back. Behind the door. Ah, oh, the locked door. I'm never going to forget that one. Um, And you will portal back to the locked door, which is in splinters. Um, and, oh, I should have thought of that. I, it's magic okay. to get through it. Well, oh, okay. everyone. Um, hi. Uh, sorry. Um, I didn't expect you all to try and follow. I didn't think, to be honest. I just chased. Um, was this the last place? I figured as much. Thought you all should use some backup. Said uh, I got left behind, though. Back to Arantina. We'll see if we didn't get our uh, gal. No. Back to Arantina. Yes. We can cast one more portal. And Maverick, Lucius, and Olusk. Let's try to remember his name, sorry. Um, would have witnessed that as soon as he fled with Selene, each one of these dragonborns um, and drow fell unconscious on the ground. And the human and the elf got up and came straight to you. Pray tell... Where are we? Renty. Renty. So far from home. Where are you from originally? They both speak at the same time. One says Luvella, and the other says Maladeth. Mm. Yeah, well... We just came from Maladeth. And so as Luvella... How... Do you know how long you've been gone do you know the date i don't know the date actually i do know the date but you know the date yeah, so i speak to god so. you tell him it's <laughs> the 9th of november he looks at you then i will need to know the year but when you tell him he turns around to you and says three years yes three years in next week oh, that's the number Oh, the yeah. human was what taken is... two days ago. Two days ago. What is your name? Let's speak to the gnome. Kimmick. Kimmick. Tell it me. Was once important. In the battle. How so? He was the master of inventions. Ah, so. What do you know about metal golems? I outlawed them as soon as I came to rain. An awful creation. My um, son was obsessed with him, but... Your son? Lyric. If I'd been gone this your... long, he would have surpassed me. You're his father. Well, he has. What do you know about metal golems? Well, I know that they destroyed my home. I can do nothing but apologize. I should never have told my to. son the owls. None needed. Fathers make mistakes. That is all. Yes, and some more than others. It was the dead of night. I watched my wife die. And then my mind went blank. The next thing I knew I was here. Die? H how? She was slain? She was stabbed with a blade of black, shadowy flame. Right before my eyes. I see. Tell me, Kinnick. These metal monstrosities, is there a way to... Do they have a weakness at all? They're bound to one person. Take out the mind controlling them. They don't do anything. I guess that would be my son. I assume so. I don't know how to tell you this, but the border to Lavella are closed. 
So he took the offer. Offer? Two weeks before I was taken, a man came to us. He was part fire, part air, and part earth. Uh. I should not see him, like I've never seen before. I see. He told us that he would pay us a lot of money if we did nothing. But if we hmm. created golems for him, he would kill us. We didn't understand the offer. So we did nothing and he paid us. So... Perhaps Lyric is making this deal beyond his free will? Forced into this? My son has desired power since he was about 12. He will do anything for it. But the offer was, if we created the golems for them, they would kill us. Yes. That's so weird. Offer. Yes. Obviously, I didn't do something I didn't want to do to then die. Yes. Strange. So then, yes. You made a different deal with Thurik. Actually, when I think about it, the offer wasn't kill us. He said, kill you. Make the golems for us and we will kill you. Do nothing and we will pay you. I thought he was talking to everyone, but... I did nothing. I lived. And I was removed. Yes. The other <laughs> half of the offer makes no sense to me. Not at all. So, now that you're awake for the first time in three years, what would you do? If I knew nothing of this war, I would take myself to a peaceful countryside and find a good friend. Perhaps you should. Or... Since you're so inventive, maybe you might want to make yourself useful. I will join the war against my son, but I will never invent again. I am not well, without magics. I understand, but what I meant was not to invent machines, but to maybe help a place to be rebuilt. My home was destroyed. Undoing his work would give me great pleasure. But I can do. But he must be stopped. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> and so must that cat. It must be stopped. <laughs> <laughs> She's so stupid. Uh, <laughs> and at that moment, we will take a break. Welcome back to Aldessa. Um, when you stand in a bar in the middle of a renty. Celine, Olisk, Frax, and a lot of you. And an un unconscious Iona who's currently, what, slung over Lucy's shoulder? Yeah, I'm holding her like this, you know, cross the threshold yeah, kind baby, of shit. Baby hold, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Right, who'd um, you say was here? Um. <sighs> Celine, Vrax, Kinnick, Vrax, Olisk. Wait. Kimmick? Celine's gone. Uh, not Celine, sorry. Um, yeah, I was going to say, I was like, what, Iona, what, what, Iona, 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 unconscious in arms. Um, you haven't asked the name of the human. Have we arrived back? Yeah, you're all in a rent. In the end. We came back through the portal. Yeah. So they've just entered? Yes. Okay, as they enter... What the fuck were you guys thinking? Hello, Maverick. How are you doing? I was trying to save our queen while you stayed back and did absolutely nothing. Pathetic. Hey, 
<laughs> Pathetic. You ran off. You didn't even know where you were going, where it was leading to, what danger could be. We just had a conversation with um, Lucius about doing things together and being a team and not running off. And then you guys run off in the Sling middle of nowhere. Gone. As a, majority as far, rules, Maverick. As far as I'm concerned, you were the one of Quick apart note, from Rook, um, neither Lucius, you, not, none of you would know whether Lucius and Maverick tried to get to the portal or not. Ret re retract, retract, retract. Yeah. Um, you don't know if they tried to get through, but I mean, it's, ob it's fairly obvious Maverick didn't. He's having a go at you, but you don't know. Um, yeah. I um, would assume that Lucius didn't go, considering he's holding Iona unconscious yeah, in his life. Yeah, I actually, I actually assumed the same thing yeah. when it happened. Okay. Mm. <laughs> anyway, as you were. There's, 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 a, there's multiple reasons for sure. I'll take that one. <laughs> It all worked out. I'm not certain why you're so angry. Because it was reckless. Isn't everything that we do? I thought we were trying to go forward and not be like that anymore. Isn't that what we spoke to Lucius about earlier? Or was all that, was that all just bullshit? I'm going to hold up Celine's mirror. Scry her. No. <laughs> you get nothing. You I'm not even going to try. Just say no. Oh, right. Sorry. I thought you were talking to the mirror. No, I'm not even trying. No, they're trying I'm to scry on with the mirror. I'm going to punch Maverick and storm off. And put You're going to I'm going to punch Maverick and storm off. You're going to punch me. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, can I try and interject on that? Wait, can I try and interject on that? Oh, uh, make a dexter. Well, that's a, that's a fucking nine. Well, it's going to miss anyway. Why I roll like shit too. Twelve. <laughs> no, you don't get in the way. He misses, and then he fucks off. I'm gonna follow him. As I'm storming off, I'm taking out that one ring. You know that one particular ring, right? Yeah. I'm sliding that on mm -hmm. because I know. Yep. You suppress your magic. As you well, guys are talking, you do notice that Varax is deep in conversation with the man, the human. Yeah, you know, um, I'll keep. I'll still keep. So, still, still keep holding Iona. Actually, I'm gonna find a table to push them together and lay her on that for now. Mm -hmm. Um, just to give her some place to actually rest on. And uh, I'll go over there by Varax and I'm talking. Um, you hear him talking about when he was taken. I'm, I'm sorry, you were saying something, Rook? I was just going to ask, are we in the tavern right now? Yes. Yes. Is there a bartender somewhere? No. But there's a bar. I'm going to go sit at the bar. I mean... Sorry, you can continue. You might want to sit, you might want to walk behind it and get yourself a drink first, because there is no... Yeah, yeah I'm, 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 I'm going to go do that and then just sit in silence yeah. okay. while Lucius talks. Yeah. So... We were taken two days ago, I heard? Yes. And Vrax informs me that I am still in the city. You're from here? I am... No, he's from out of death. I know, I'm but from... I mean, I don't remember him telling me that, though. That's what I'm saying. He uh, yeah, he, he told you there and then. Oh, he did? Okay. Um, yeah. I was too interested, too interested in Kinnick. Okay, got it. Vrax is telling me that somebody who at least looks like me is still performing my role. What is that? I am Connor. I sit on the Grand Council. Oh, this is rich. He sits on the Grand Council. Oh, we should get you back. As soon so as possible. So I can meet me? Well, actually, how much sway do you have in the Grand Council? No more or less so than anybody other than Jirdra. I have an interested party that wants to move the chambers. Maybe you can help me with that. Perhaps we can get you back on the seat where you belong. Move the chambers? Yes. Oh. Let me guess, somewhere that's not open. Yes. I have long fought for the silent to be able to sit in on the meeting themselves anyway. 
I will still push the argument, but I'm not oh. sure how much help I will be. Regardless, somebody is impersonating me. I thought with Erlem's wife that she was dead before they became her. And was that not the same of King Vanyan? Yes, but you may be a different case. Excellent. By the way, you're not dead. Yes, so. which means I can stab myself. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Hey. There are other pleasures in life, but very few can say they killed themselves and lived. Hmm. I like you. You've got a sense of humor. Who are you? An English is called a Astorius. Where are you from? I'm from Drachnor Keep. And before that, elsewhere. I'm sorry. But also go home. <laughs> yes, well... That's just life. I'm getting used to loss. That informs me that we can go back when you are ready. Yes. First I must collect the... Pieces that are my friends. And that's Lady Celine today. Her Majesty the Queen. There's no small loss for any of us. No. But I'm sure in time she'll be found. Most definitely. I hope you only find one of her. <laughs> so do I. Um, during that time I will grab another bottle and... Uh... <laughs> and we'll flick to Kenner and be able to. Yeah. I'll go send... I'll go sit next to Rook. Mm -hmm. Can you follow the old outside? Yep. I'm just pacing furiously. Mm -hmm. Hair's on fire. Silently. And Theobald is still just walking. Absolutely fucking furious. Nowhere in particular? Nowhere, just somewhere. Nowhere, just somewhere. Lovely. Alright, well, as you wander through nowhere but somewhere in the freezing cold desert in the middle of the fucking nowhere. In our empty. Um Yeah, you find weird tented places and nice places to walk and eventually you come to the edge of the town. There's a small fence looking over the desert. I'm assuming Kenna will not let you walk into the desert. No. <laughs> um, I may be angry, but I'm not stupid enough to do that. I'm just gonna... Are you sure? Make a wisdom check. <laughs> <I'm kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> That would carry on as you were. I lean against the fence and just angry pound it and just kick it and just um try to. What are you doing with the ring while you're doing this? I'm just clutching it in my hand, balling it. I'm balling my hand up in a fist. The um, gem ring on right the inside. Right? Yeah. I'm just gonna stand there. And let him go at it for a little bit. Very well. So you'll kick and punch. Um, make a charisma check, man. It's a 15. Mm. I'm just curious. I'm not sure if you agree, but... Perhaps at some moment here, Leobald would actually be struggling to keep his magic suppressed. Perhaps part of him wants to let it out. But as you got over a 14, I'll let you decide that. You think it's... Wait, so clarify for me? Um, I wondered if Leobald would perhaps not hold his magic in as well and perhaps start throwing fireballs at deserts. That would be normally the thought. Normally. But we know what happened before. Hmm. Um, at this point we'll flick to Maverick. Maverick, you feel the intrusion of a voice in your mind. Oh god, not again. <laughs> okay. Maverick, is that you? It's Eldrin. Was that Celine's apprentice? Yeah. Um, hello. I tried to get through to Leobald, but... 
something's blocking me. Um, yeah, he's, uh, he's having a, um, a hissy fit. Fairly irrelevant. Um, can you get him? Not right now. What's wrong? We can get to the, to the Queen. Can you get him? How can you get to her? Semantics, I... I scry, that's what I do. What a fucking attitude with people around here today. Well, he doesn't want you to discuss hissy fits, he wants to find the Queen. He's making that very clear. Alright, fine, now. I'll just go to town. Um, <laughs> yep, uh, I, they've walked quite a long way, um, but you can follow the tracks in the sand. And you come across... Well, Ken is standing there, hair on fire, just watching be able to kick a fence. Great. Um, I'm not addressing uh, Leovold. I will speak to Ken um, and tell her that we've found a way to get to Celine. How? What a great fucking question, Kenna. If you can get a, an answer out of this asshole, please. Leovold! Aldrin's contacting us. Eldrin. Eldrin. Okay. Would I have overheard Maverick saying about this arsehole? Sure. But you don't know that he was originally trying to contact you. I still want to punch Maverick, I'm just saying. Why? <laughs> Well, no, no answer. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, that was out of session. Let's get let's focus on in session. Um, yeah, uh, unless you're going to supply some more information, Maverick, I don't know what to do in this situation. Um, I don't have any information. Uh, you have the information Eldrin was trying to contact Leobald. Unless you tell him that, he's not going to take the ring off, and I haven't got anything else for you, so we'll just carry on and go back to Lucia's. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, fine, then. Um, Leobald. Eldrin's trying to contact you. Uh, right. How is he trying to contact me? Through your mind. Take your fucking ring off. How the f- Right. Okay. Okay. Slide the ring off then. Okay. You hear a very calm voice in your ear. In your mind. Um, I need you. Selene's gone. Yes. But you were given a gift by the Queen, the Elven Queen. I've got an image here, but I need more. Is there any way that you can get back to Maladeth? I can meet you there, but I can't get you in a rent. To Maladeth. You need to tell me some more about this gift at some point. I. Still don't understand all of it, but the lady's I'm pretty sure. explained a brief bit of it. But from what I understand, you can focus in on memories and perhaps expand them. I wonder if you might do the same with this image. Shit. Only That's going to be moment. really hard to do. I'll give it a shot. Well, not from there, you won't. No, of course not from here. Um, fuck. Uh... Think, also, it may Rex. Rex may be able to help as well. Yeah. Hearing okay, the whole side of the conversation, I'm gonna just start walking back towards yep. the inn. Fantastic. Um, I'll, get, I'll, I'll get back to I'll you and we'll sort of uh, deal with this more. I'll contact again shortly. Okay. Uh, and as I go, uh, as I go in, um, turn to turn to people. Yeah, our, our group. No, oh, not Maverick. The rest of our group. Yeah, we're coming all the way in, right, okay. cool. yeah, we'll um, the rest of our group. Just before you do, Lucius and Rook are sitting at the bar. What's brother and I doing? Oh, um, I was muted, but I was going to talk to Maverick. Uh, but I guess I'll after he walks out, I'll go sit with uh, Lucius and Rook. Okay. Hey. Um. So yeah, you walk in inside the bar, and um, you see uh, Vrax standing in the corner. Um. And for those of you who notice, 
um, the table that he is staring at is bowing in the middle. Oh. Ah. And so he's slowly bending it with his mind. Is this out of anger, or is this some sort of... Very much so. I see. The table did nothing to you. I know. I'm certain it's cathartic. Probably. Uh, Laurie, shall we fill your glass? Oh, of course. Always. Yes. Rook, you want to refill? I'm trying to put, like, hold my cup out to be filled. Not say anything. There you go. Doesn't make sense. What's wrong? Um, quick question. At this point, we are back inside, no, right? Not yet. Right, okay. Why Iona? Sorry, who's this talking about? Rex. Rex. And... Yeah. Why did she come? I'm not sure. Um, depending on how she looked in... The, can I maybe make a far-off inside check on this? On Iona? Just not on Iona, or but on just... I, the, on Lady on, Selene. To lean on how she was, you know. Distracted. It's a far shot. She appeared distracted. Distracted. Um, give me an inside check, sure. Uh, there is something I can give you if you can get it. 14. She was a little like this after Maldranic died. Let's see. Well then, perhaps. Well then, can I infer that Iona may be import more important to her than I th than we think she is? Or is that is that a far fetch? It's unfortunate because I gave something away that I never thought would take part in the session, and then I realized it was going to take part in the session. Um, no, but you might get the impression that he doesn't know either, and Vrax. This is what he's saying. I mean, he sort of... I, I've known her all our lives. I'm going to look up right at him. You said she was like this after Maldranic died, too. Which means you were in contact with her. Yeah, did, actually. Yeah, that, that's a, that was part of my insight check. That was me responding oh, to his oh, insight oh, check. That wasn't, oh, that was But, 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 uh, but I'll, I'll utter it under my breath. Um... <laughs> To, to Rook, even if Rook is not really like talking to me right now. Um, well, I mean, let's just say that you said to to, 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 yeah, to, to both Brax of that uh, she was like this after Maldranic died. Mm. She loved Maldranic. Up until not that long ago, no, we know. thought you were we thought you were some crazy evil man who was out just to kill yes, people. Apologies and, for that. And all this time, you have known Celine super close. Way closer than any of us would have ever guessed. You, you need to explain something right now. Yes, because Grandfather is quite upset. Well, he would be, but he's irrelevant until past and the next one will come. Hmm. Wow. Spicy. <laughs> my role to the crown is... My role All to important. the crown. But my relationship with Celine is that she is my half-sister. Who is whoa. your parents? Alari chokes when he's drinking them. Um, <laughs> I hit his back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Uh, I was fathered by her father, but out of wedlock. Her mother was See, royal in the family. I've been in service to the crown since I was 30 years old. Is her father relevant? Is her... Celine's father? Long dead. So... Then perhaps she, if Celine were to die, you would have... No. Any sort of claim? No. I am not royal. No. Her mother was royal. But who else is left? Well, I think I know. You said she was like this when Maldranic died. Well, well, well. <sighs> I'm gonna need a drink for this because I feel there's a reveal coming. I think you're holding a princess. Oh, there it goes. Jesus. Um, many years ago, 30, 
Would he? No, sorry. Many years ago, 200. Um, Celine had a brief relationship with a monk at the Alta Monastery. It fell apart. But after Maldranic spent her about 30 years ago, she went back. The monk there is transcendent to the muscle coil. He doesn't age. See. She was very different after that. She was careful. I've never known Celine to be careful. She cares. Right. And then uh. she comes for this child. Tell me, the girl. Does she have a tattoo on her left shoulder? Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen her shoulder, actually. I meant look now. Yeah, that's how I was going to go do that at that point. But then I felt kind of, also kind of figure like, hmm. Well, I'll walk over. Done, yeah. yeah, yeah, I'll walk over and like kind of like brush her hair on her face. And then I own I'm sorry. And I'll like uh, see you. I'll look up her shoulder. You'll see a tattoo of up? a rose in yellow. Rax, you want to take a look at this? I don't need to. It's a yellow rose. And I'll cover her back up. Six daughters of the Yellow Rose have been born in 3,000 years. It is when an elf, one of royal blood, has a child with one of the master monks. In this case, Master Nundu. But she gave her up. Child doesn't know, does she? No, she does not. Does she know of her heritage? Obviously, she knows not who her mother is. She knows a bit of it, yes. But does she really care? No. I imagine not. Well, Iona, you are full of surprises yet again. Even whilst you sleep, you surprise me. At this point, uh, Kenna comes in. Shortly followed by Maverick and then Herald. <clears throat> ah, welcome back, everybody. A nice drink. <sighs> no. Most of, most of it's on me. <clears throat> you. <laughs> he looks to Leobald. Vrax. Is what is it? We need to go. Or rather, I. Uh, who go. is it? We. Who is it talking to you? Or who was Eldrin. He thinks he's onto something. He thinks he's got an idea. I know where he is. Let's go. You'll need my help with it. I don't know if I can do yeah, it. I, I, know I can only try. And I'll, he will open a portal. I'll pick I'm a banana. Straight through, uh, no hesitation. <laughs> and before, before this happens, I have one last thing to say to Rex. Yeah. Well, he's um, not going through. He's waiting for everybody else to. Before. Oh, no, no. We oh, had no. a ball, and there, there were many assassinations that night, each of them with a rose in their mouth, and one Iridian had a yellow rose. Connect. No, the assassinations left a rose in the mouth of each person. It was symbolic of something different. See. I can explain, but now's not the time. I have. No, I'll come back to that. Um, and then he turns to um, Connor. If you would like to. Then to. And he says, so, you know, head on. And then the rest of you, and he will come last. Oh, Larry's gonna stuff a bottle into his pack and then head into the portal. Mummy! And I'm, I'm walking through with beer in my hand. Uh, you arrive in a beautiful vaunted chamber. I wish we have an image, so bear with me. Oh, one. Do the human and the gnome come with us? 
Yes. Well, that was uh, the ones I was talking about. Really? Oh, come on, do I not have it? Um, anyway, I'll talk as I uh, think. Yep, you get through, and uh, standing in the centre of this vaunted chamber is Eldrin, um, in front of a... It looks a bit like a water feature. It's a, a stone uh, sort of pedestal with a large water bottle on the top. And um, he looks up to you. Harder times. Master Connell. I'm just the one only. Is there a place I can set Ayana down? Uh, comfortable. Oh my fucking Jesus, is that big enough? Dear Lord! So big. That is huge. <laughs> These are the council chambers. Ah, perfect. And directly below the dome that you see is the pedestal. Uh, conveniently, there's a random man in the centre, and we'll call that Eldrin. Um, <laughs> and uh, he looks straight to Leovold. Eldrin. Right. What was it you had in mind? I saw this image so briefly, and I can't get back there. The Queen, Alana. She has a skill where she can look over your memories. And extract one. Right. She said you were on the way to becoming a mind healer, but... I don't know how advanced it is. Though I do understand something of the magic. And Vrak speaks up. I can guide you through this. Devil. If you will allow me into your mind. Please do. Because I've never touched this before. And moves over to you. And he places his fingers upon your temple. And you hear a voice in your mind. Wow. We're dealing with a lot, aren't you? Let me... Yeah. And then you feel peaceful, quiet, calm. All the anger, all the rage, all the frustration is just blanked out. That's incredibly convenient. This space here, this magic... Here, you feel this? And you see sort of a white light in your mind that you can touch, you can... Maneuver. What this about is reaching out to it? The untapped magic. You access it the same way you access your own magics, but slightly more gently, perhaps. Channel it with thought. And as you place your hand now upon the temple of Aldrin, you begin to. See memories. Give me a performance check, please. Oh, that, that was a persuasion. Sorry. Um, that's well, that'll be a fourteen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, and at that moment, you begin to see thousands of memories. Um, one of them that briefly flicks by is your own face at the ball. Um, but then you fly past that, and you get to a moment where. You see the Lady Selene in what appears to be a purple sphere. She's got both her hands extended. It looks like she's controlling the sphere. It's, it's just a memory we're looking for. Aldrin's voice comes back to you. This is it. This moment. Here. Yeah, this is okay. where she is. But then I was shut out. And okay. What you can see really... from this is, I'll paint the image for you. Um, it is on a road, um, a dusty track, not a main road. Um, it appears somewhat mountainous in the region. It's cold. It's snowy. And far ahead of you, you see what appears to be some sort of black rock citadel. Are we able to? Uh, oh, rather, am I able to manipulate anything of this, or is this no, purely just something that we are No, what you can do now is, uh, as 
Vrax informs you is, if you will now let go of the memory and walk to the scrying bowl, place your hands okay. on the side of it, summon the memory, right. and cast it outwards. I shall do so then. And now everybody can see this. And he leads your mind. Aldrin looks up okay. and smiles, and that was unusual. Thank How so? Uh, you walked into my mind and flicked through my memories? Unusual. I, I, it's like people have done it with me before, I'll admit that much. Yes. First time for you? Yeah, That's it's always freaky. time it was s s someone different. Um, yeah. yeah. You see, like, he's just blushing bright red and he's just, like, trying to get his mind back on what matters. <laughs> um, and he looks down to the, to the image and... I don't know where that is. Brax looks at it and... Perhaps... Somewhere to the north, Jazook. Hang on. Can I make an insight what check? What control do I have over this scry right now? Nothing. It's just a static image. Can we see well, this? You can dismiss it. Yeah, you can all see it. Uh, then I would ask if that was um, Shirashai. I've never seen it. That's for accident. Elgin, do you know where Shirashai is? Elgin looks like he's mad. No one knows where Shirashai is. Although... In Jazook. Well, yes, but... He means specifically. Rumors say it's at the tallest mountain. I can show you all the mountain, we can have a little look around. But... It's been hidden for hundreds of years, so what's the likelihood we're going to find it by looking around? Mind if we don't try. Very well, but I don't know how much I have left. I've been scrying for six hours. But... Let's go. And you see... The, an image of a mountain. Just a, um, there are dark rocks and snowy caps. Each of you make a perception check, please, anybody who's paying attention, which I'm assuming is most of you. Ah, cock. Six, six, I like that. Twenty-five. And that one. Nineteen. Lucius has got it. Um, you see as it flickers across the side of one mountain, a moment where the image appears incorrect. Blurred. Yeah. Something's wrong. Oh, he peers closer. That's not how it looks. Something's masking it. Here, I'll show you something. And the image flicks immediately to a forest to the east, where you see the same sort of blurred effect. That's Teluria. I see. It's similar. Same, perhaps. But that's elven magic. Wait, how... I... I, I don't understand. Before you follow that up, Leobald, Maverick, make an insight check. Or an intelligence check, whichever you prefer. This is a 16. As he says elven magic, you... see again the face of man whose mask you pulled down. Do you wish to say anything about it? As only you have seen his face. Um... Would Maverick say anything about it? No. Yeah. However, you realise that Elven magic obviously may come from the person who looks like the Queen of Teluria. Uh, regardless, as you'll see the image again in the mountains, you're able to pinpoint where it is. 
and uh, Vrax turns and I can't even get us close. Besides, we need some rest. None of us can go forever. What is this? This blurring that we just saw? It's the elven magic that stops detection, stops scrying, stops magic from entering or leaving without the person in charge's decision. It's usually inherent in the bloodline of the royal elves. It doesn't make any sense for it to be in Shurashar. It is a place in Cheswick. But it has been here for many hundreds of years. That might make sense. When you mentioned Teluria, Teluria was under the same effect. Teluria has always been under the same effect, and most recently, Igorena and Maladeth have also been placed under the same effect. The Queen sent Instead out of some... the royal line, does the Queen have relatives? Her father living. is dead. Her mother is technically alive, although in no state to do anything. She has been insane for many years. She has no children. Then... And no siblings. Is that so? You're not being truthful, are you? As far as he knows, he's being truthful. Mm. Okay. Why can't you get us close? I've never been to Jezuk. You can only take us to places that you've been before. Opening a portal to a place I've never been is incredibly risky. I could open us up below the ground or in the middle of the air. Well, Especially in mountainous terrain, it is suicidal. If we were able to mix it with scrying, would you be able to see where you were opening us up to? No. I have to know what the place feels like to stand in. I... It has been attempted through scrying before by sound assists, but frankly it has never come out well. Let's make it end up eviscerated. Or stuck in a rock for the rest of time. I believe the word is telefract. Yes. <laughs> Damn it. That was a good one, Alari. Uh... How close can you get us? Or who do you know who could get us closer? I can get you to the border of Jezuka Lonoth. I think it's perhaps a three day hike. What a guess. Alternately, I can get us to the border of Luvella and Jezuk, but that seems like a very bad idea. Suicidal. Not quite as much as teleporting into a rock, but yes. Once I'm there, the I can perhaps speed the hike. I can teleport to a place I can see, regardless of the distance. Great. And the teleport is into a fucking thing of marble or no. stamped to death by if metal. I can gold. see it, we'll be fine. So, I don't know of anybody who can get you closer than the border of Lonoth. There is perhaps one person, but I don't think it's a bright idea. And that so person is? Fuck, I don't have a fucking note. <laughs> Hello, we don't have time for this. It's not Eldrin. Eldrin can't teleport you fucking anywhere. Oh, it's Vrax, yeah. It's Vrax. Oh, sorry, Vrax. Eldrin, Vrax, Vrax. 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 Eldrin can't Jesus teleport goodness. you anywhere useful. I'm sorry, Actually, Eldrin. I didn't, I didn't mean to scream at you. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Gosh, Eldrin. You're such a loser. <laughs> uh, well, actually, there are two people, but um, he'll only mention one for now. Um, Valaris. Valaris. You don't have any notes on him. Yeah, I'm just writing his name down. Okay. Yeah, um, that name is not familiar to me. He is the leader of the dragon. Well. And he is yeah, I can see why that's not a good idea. Well. Also, he's wanted to kill me for 60 years. So ah. probably not great for me to make introductions. No, nope. Frankly, <laughs> I think it is better that we go straight there. We could ask of the Genasi, but... Before... No. 
Es macht keinen Sinn. Go on, Lucius. Huh? No. <laughs> Can I ask Miss uh, the Ambassador Shirazo has spoken? However, <laughs> before I go anywhere, I want to deal with Iona. She needs to wake up. Yes, um... I'm sorry. I've paid no attention to her yet. Leon said oh. it was something to do with Nightshade, but also some type of magical effect. The Nightshade is doing nothing to her other than making her slightly ill right now. Well, the irony of this is quite beautiful. Returns to Leobald. She needs a mind healer. Great. Unfortunately, she also needs a good one. Well, that's you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to try something. Mm. I'm going to take off that uh, pendant I received from that goddess a long time ago. Mm. And I was going to do something I never thought I'd do. I'm going to pray on it. I'm going to say, one of your children needs your help. She needs to be woken up. My friends are... Did we write down her name somewhere? Oh, I fucking forgot her name. I, I think I did. I think I did write her name uh, down. Hold on. Uh, she. Oh, hold on. I need to go to the Silverleaf Inn. Don't worry. She works. Yeah. So the Silverleaf. 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 She was the bard. Let's see. 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 Uh, no, that's a bit far. I've gone to the ball. Um, Bloody hell. Oh, Is it Lady Sylvana? That it might be. The only note I have under Silverleaf Inn that makes sense. Yeah, Sylvana. Thank you. Um, Jesus, and yeah. No, it's just you won't hear a voice. Hmm. And there I was thinking you'd make a romantic call. What a shame. I'm sorry to disappoint, but um, uh, maybe perhaps when I first met you, I spoke out of turn. Running from something I shouldn't be running from. You're in need. Yes. Is it romantic? No. Um, disappoint. Is it a good <laughs> story? I believe it is a good story, yes. You'd be most interested in this. In... Trust me, if I do call you for love, I would hope that <laughs> maybe you would exchange me for her life if it came to it. Not romantic, but you do care. Yes, I do. Interesting enough. Bear with me a moment. And stepping through the doors of the Grand Council Chamber behind you, you will see Sylvana. Boot in hand. Out of her hips. And Vrax immediately kneels. I bow. <laughs> we are graced. Take a swig of my beer. <laughs> Can we just end the session right there? <laughs> I take a swig of my beer. <laughs> Fucking love it. That was absolutely <laughs> perfection. Um, anyway, and uh, she will walk up. <laughs> Girl. Yes. This is royal magic. Oh, yeah. mm. I cannot tell. Mm. It's not my place. I see. But he's Understood. the royal of the Elven bloodline. It's and the so Sionicist to boot. Come, my dear, wake. It's not the time for sleep. And she will stand. I will not blink oh. her eyes twice. And... and I need Lucius and... Who's close? Rook. Make a deck save. A deck save? Mm-hmm. Oh. 27. That's a pretty big number. <laughs> that is. Uh, 21. Hmm. 
Uh, two uh, ethereal arms extend from the center of Viola's body towards you both, ripping out and mashing, but both of you duck. Um, oh, was it going to catch it? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't. Oh, I wouldn't. damn. Um, it was going to knock you back 40 feet. Um, <laughs> you know, oh, it would be so cool. Let <laughs> me catch it and brace myself. Uh, you can try. Make a dex check. Um, oh, but geez. it's going to have to be like a natural 19. Oh, no. It's a 13. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> um, yeah, you reach out and it's gone in a flash. Um, uh, easy. And then she looks up and... <laughs> Who are you? I spoke in my dreams. You have no idea what fate has in store for you, do you? Hmm. You should see your father. And then you hear a tune in the background. It doesn't sound anything like this. <laughs> Um, Rise and shine, sleepy head. I didn't think we were going to use it anytime soon, but I do have. <laughs> uh, oh, I can't do it like this. Hold on, we're going to go through the internet. <coughs> For fuck's sake, skip it. There's a loot place, isn't it? Silvano? Yes. Go on. But as she's leaving, Lucius, you just hear a small whisper. Interesting. She's gone. I'll, um, I'll hold on tightly. Lady Sylvana, thank you. I don't know if I'll ever... I didn't need do you it for you. But you're welcome. Oh, he's not to make me feel good. <laughs> and I honor turns to look at you, Lucius. And... What happened? We were in the <laughs> corridor, and then I was flying, but standing on the ground over and over again. And then I was in a bar, and then I was somebody forced something down my throat, and then you somebody don't... spoke in my mind, and then I was here. You don't remember anything. I remember all of that. Well, who are you? I'll sit, sit next to. It. She looks at Rex. Oh, Rex, I was like, "Wait, what?" You, <laughs> okay. you took me, and she swings at him. It wasn't can him. I, can I try to stop her? Uh, probably not, because her fist isn't going to get anywhere near him. Oh, okay, cool. Um, <laughs> and you see her face relax. And you sound like him. Who is him? The man who took me. He was an elf. Strangely beautiful. Elf. But I couldn't fight back. Like what you just did there. I couldn't move a muscle. What is it? Rex nods. He is like me, but stronger. Much stronger. He took the Lady Selene. I believe you were the bait. Oh, I looked at him. I was the bait? You should sit down for this. The person who loves me most in the world is a bartender. I doubt I was the bait for the Queen. And then she sort of turns and... Oh. Yep. She smiles and looks at Lucius. You should be bowing, shouldn't you? <laughs> no, 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 no. I saved you. <laughs> she looks at the rest of you. Um... I... Guess I... Celine's daughter? Ding ding. Celine's a little bit. Well, in all fairness, there aren't many royal elves kicking around. I had assumed something like that. 
not, not the royal bloodline I had hoped for, I'm not going to lie. The Queen of Lava is very beautiful. Well, no, you're fine. Don't she worry. didn't care any more than anyone else. I don't see why it should matter. So same old me. <sighs> but apparently she cared enough to get herself taken. Um, I'm assuming now we have to go and rescue her. You would assume correct. I'm not feeling it. She turns to walk out. Take Maverick with you, please. <laughs> <laughs> um. I'll I'll, uh, I'll actually run to catch up with Iona. Um, hey, we actually had a little bit of a appointment today. Do you want to go and try and handle that? I'm going drinking. We should train first. You want to go drinking right now? Oh, okay, okay. Understand. I'm going drinking. Fine, fine. Go drinking. She walks out the cellar. Then she sort of turns back and she goes. The fuck are we? What do you mean? When the back comes chambers. Cool. Um, nearest bar. Rax looks over. It, it's five a.m. Nearest bar. We'll find it. I, I'll I'll lead you there. I'll turn around. Hey, everyone. I know we want to go find Celine and save her. I can see that Leovo's eye is twitching. He's probably going to explode anytime soon. Um, but I do want to what? deal with Iona for right now. Um, I truly believe, I truly actually believe what Vax says. We should at least get some rest. We've been through a lot. I'm sorry if I seem to be splitting off in the group or just being selfish, but I am looking out for the best of everyone. I believe everyone should take a rest. Aldrin turns to you. I should probably go and open the gate. Um, we're not meant to be here. I, uh... Okay. And at this point, Colonel, uh, turns around. Don't worry. I shall say that I let you all in. Perfect. Although, from that what is I understand, true. there is another one of me somewhere around. Yeah, yes. we should take care of that. We should, you should. I'll visit the silent. Let's see what they suggest. When you go, come and find me first. Go together. Uh, who's going to go now? He's going to go now? Okay. No, I'm only going to ask for advice. I can speak with you before we act. You have taken my interest. Cool. Alright. I'm assuming the party is going to... Uh, they have rooms. Yeah. Or the inn, at least. I mean... <coughs> do we feel like we've gotten a long rest from the weird... No, no uh, you don't feel weird. rested. You just... For that moment, you had a full claim to, like, your spell slots, basically. Right, so right, right. giving you and some HP. Um, no, you're tired. <sighs> Reluctantly. Okay. Yeah, same. Okay, as you head out, the sun is just starting to crest over the horizon. And let's just make a constitution check for me. Mm. Ooh, not good. That's a six. You can attend the training session if you wish, but you will need to go to sleep immediately afterwards. Um, and That's fine. there we will almost end. Sorry, there is something I missed. As you all get back to your rooms, um, Alamo's not with you. Um, and hasn't been. And um, Maverick, when you get back to your room, Alamo is sitting inside. <coughs> Hello. You all left in the night. Uh, yes, Ayana was kidnapped. Oh. Uh. Right. Um. A wake up call would have been nice. Uh, well, sorry, everything just happens all too quickly in this group. Well. 
I shall go back to bed. I'm sorry to have come into your room, but I wanted to wait until you came back, make sure that you were okay. I didn't know where to look. Well, okay might be a strong word right now. <laughs> um, I'm fine. And Iona? Sorry for not making you walk through. And Iona? She's fine. She's the daughter of a queen. She oh. was um, bait uh, to get to Selene, and uh, they got her. The queen is taken? She is indeed. I wanted to go out on a date. Yeah, funny thing that. <laughs> Do you think we can still go? I mean, what time is it now? No, it's 5am right now. He means tonight. Um. I mean, I know she's the queen and all, but don't we do enough duty? Oh my god, preach, sister. Um, <laughs> I'm assuming I mean, that's not what you responded with. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, um, <coughs> everyone else seems to be acting selfishly. Why shouldn't we? Good. He gestures to the sofa in your room. I don't suppose. Maybe I could. I don't want to wake up and find you all gone again. Can I sleep there? Okay, I'm going to say something. I do not mean it in a sexual way. Because <laughs> I don't want to be forward like that. Mm. <laughs> um, but don't be silly. You can share my bed. I'm not sure we'll get much rest, but I can try. I mean, I'd be more worried that Kira, Kira, <laughs> who's he? <laughs> I'd be more worried that <laughs> Lucian doesn't get any rest. <laughs> That's I'm an elf. Point, Lucius. I forgot I'm in your room. Only yeah. need four hours. Um, he, <laughs> I'm fine. I'll leave. Yeah, you're not. But you're, well, you're not there anyway, are you? Yeah, no, yeah, no. But I forgot <laughs> it was your room. Um, well, that would be nice. And uh, he's still dressed, so he, he will come to bed in, like, not dressed as in, like, jeans and a t-shirt, but, like, he's wearing, like, they're not pajamas, but they're, like, home robes, you know? Okay. Um, so that's what he's gonna go to bed in. He's wearing Okay, a Maverick sleeps naked, so... That's fine. He's just gonna have to deal with that. <laughs> He'll be fine with that. And there we shall end. Um, okay. <laughs> well, considering, yeah, we didn't use the first half of the notes, I thought this session was going to be shorter than usual. Um, Come on now. Who knew? Um, Never with us. <laughs> I'm terrible Come on at this now. timing thing, aren't I? Um, I also feel a lot better than I did when we started. Um, MVPs, I come to 